Hello, good morning. Ex-hurricane Ophelia brought disruption as we began the week, but she is now starting to decline and move away. The winds now easing across northern parts of Britain, and for many places it will be drier for a time. This is ex-hurricane Ophelia now making her way from Scotland into the North Sea. The isobars beginning to open out. These weather fronts still wrapped around Ophelia, bringing a lot of cloud and further outbreaks of rainfall across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. And at first this morning, we're going to continue to see gusts of wind, 50, perhaps slightly more, across northeastern parts of England and southeast Scotland. But those winds are easing, and by the afternoon, although still breezy, I don't think we'll see any further disruption. A lot of cloud, further outbreaks of rain. Further south, however, for central England and for Wales, Plenty of sunny spells. It's not quite as mild as it was on Monday, but it will feel quite pleasant in that sunshine. Now, by the end of the afternoon, we're going to see the cloud thicken again across southern parts of England. Outbreaks of rain returning here and spreading their way northwards during the hours of darkness. Now, that rain reaches the Midlands by the end of the night. It will be heavy in places, uh, but either side of the rain, some clear weather. And for the north, the winds easing considerably by the end of the night, some clear skies opening out as well. Under the clear skies, temperatures much cooler compared to recent nights. A chilly start, but a bright start across northern parts of Britain. Still some cloud and some patchy rainfall affecting the central belt, southeast Scotland, northeast England. And we've still got a lot of cloud cover across central and southern parts of Britain. And this rainfall slowly making its way northwards through Wednesday afternoon, reaching, say, Lincolnshire by the end of the day. It's going to feel cool in this cloud and rain, and the cloud will be thick. It will cover some of the hills in the south as well. So a gloomy and cool day to come here. But further north, where we've got sunshine and lighter winds, a much much improved picture compared to the start of the week.